Hello guys, what's up? This is your boy Yashfi Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, I would like you to kill me and smash that little subscribe button and also ring that bell notification because whenever I drop a brand new video, it's you who's gonna get notified. Okay, so without any further ado, guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you first step by step how you're gonna mine on your um, NVIDIA GTX 3070 and what is the best settings, okay, how we overclock um, for nice hash. All right, so let's say you've already downloaded nice hash on your PC. All right. All right, and you've already benchmarked everything. And here, as you can see, my plugins I'm using on NB Miner. All right, not the NB Miner LHR, not this one, but I've installed NB Miner. You can try it on LOL Miner, Excavator, and so on. Okay. Alright, so once you've done your benchmark, so as you can see, I have benchmark on uh, three, such as Autolycus, this is Eago, I've benchmark Dagger Hashimoto and Kapow. Alright, so I'm gonna turn off everything, okay, if you can select all, uh, I'm just gonna test with uh, stock settings, okay, I'm gonna test on stock settings for Dagger Hashimoto. Alright, so I'm gonna go to dashboard. So first, um, we're gonna use MSI Afterburner. Alright, and this is the uh, card. Alright, so that. Alright, so basically, what? Um, how do I turn on that? Alright, sorry about the flash that you're seeing. Okay, this is my camera flashlight. Okay, alright. Mm, I'm in a dark room right here. Alright, never mind that. Okay, so as you can see, this is MSI Afterburner, and this, these all are current stock settings. Alright, so <clears throat> it's best that you you're not um, you have it stop you have a click on start mining. Alright, what the hell is that? Shit, some flies. Alright, okay, um, what you need to do is I'm gonna show you. So you're gonna press Ctrl F on your keyboard. So this is gonna bring up the curve editor. Alright, so right here under the curve editor, you're gonna see this. You click on the square here and you're gonna move it up. To let's say 2000, 2000 ish. Alright, so let me go, let me just push it to, alright, like this. Okay, uh, if you're seeing that, let me, sorry about the, okay, now you can see that I've pushed that to 2046, okay, 2046. Alright, now, once you've done that, here you're gonna press on apply. Here's the apply button. So once you change that, it's gonna look something like this. Now, you're gonna hold the Alt key on, on the keyboard, okay? All right, so you're gonna hold the Alt key. Keep holding the Alt key, okay? Keep holding on it, and there, you want to drag it down to maybe like 1200. All right, so how should I do that? And if you're seeing that, oh shit. All right, sorry about that. Okay. I'm, I'm going to try my best for you to see. Zoom. Keep holding Alt, and now you're gonna drag this square. Okay, you're gonna click on it, drag it down to say 1200. All right, 1243. Okay, must be like this. Sorry about all the confusion, guys. Okay, so I drag it down to here. All right, next you're gonna go to settings. You're gonna hit apply. All right, and hit saved. Alright, so you wanna apply and save. As you can see, once you've done that, you're gonna see your 
school clock will be uncurved. Alright? Alright, and for the memory clock, just manually enter a thousand here, press enter. Alright, like this, do not touch the power limit, do not touch the temp temperature limit. Alright, hit apply and click the profile. Okay, unlock the profile. Now you're gonna hit save. Okay, I'm gonna actually save it to number two. Okay, save, apply. Okay, alright. Now, once you've done all, all of that, okay, now say for example, I'm gonna, I'm gonna press this button right here, saved. Alright, I'm gonna reset everything to stock settings. Okay, as you can see, everything is back on stock settings. Now I'm gonna start the mine, uh, the start mining, and I'm gonna show you that on NB miner. Okay, what is the current stock settings? Okay, all right. Before you apply the settings right there, make sure that I'm testing the current stock settings right now. All right, those are stock settings. Okay, and. Something will be like this. Alright, um, again, sorry about you can see this like a bulb. Okay, it's 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 currently my phone flashlight right now. But um, uh, listen, I'm gonna try to record another video for you. Uh, Alright, so don't worry about it. Alright. So as you can see, new job. All right, so we are getting a hash rate of 36 and our power limit is over 180, okay? So this is bad, all right? So this is a stock settings. So we are getting a power about 100 and 80 power so I'm gonna diminish that power okay by applying our newer um so wait where the hell is that here all right so again this is stock settings okay power 124 okay I'm gonna hit apply on that okay so now as you can see new share accepted I have I have used the overclock setting as you can see curved and a thousands here and I haven't touched the power limit and the temperature limit fan speed over 35 all right and now let's see okay all right and the okay see this 78 the power limit is 78 and 39 mega hash all right comparing compared to uh, <clears throat> to previously which was 180 power limit okay so I have diminished that power from let's say half okay nearly half from 180 to 111 power limit and 41 mega hash all right the hash rate from 39 right now using the uh, using the this over um, overclock settings and we're getting about 41 mega hash rate and we have also diminished like reduced the power which is really good as you can see power 77 and 41.54 mega hash all right and cpu temperature fan temperature as you can see it's 68 69 which is sweet spot right now the temperature of the graphic card all right 68 69 which is the sweet spot all right so yeah thanks for watching guys if you appreciate this video if you want me to record another video just because of this uh thing right here you can't see anything or whatever just comment down below and i'm i'm gonna try my best to record maybe next time i'm gonna use 
some better equipment like I'm gonna turn on the lights and yeah and next time maybe I will not record with my iPhone I'm gonna record using uh, OBS or whatever software that yeah I do have another PC so I'm gonna have to use like uh, you know what I'm gonna use this which is called an other media yeah this is Scott and I'm gonna try to record something better for you guys okay thanks for watching